Okay. A storage tank at standard temperature and pressure <laughs> contains 28.5 kilogram of nitrogen diatomic, yeah, diatomic molecule. Given that the molar mass of nitrogen gas is 28.01 gram per mole, what is the volume of the tank? Okay, so um, let's look at information given. First of all, it says standard temperature and pressure. This is important. Okay, um, what is actually standard temperature and pressure? Huh? Standard temperature and pressure, uh, this is the thing you must know. Okay, uh, this one. Okay, okay. Uh, standard temperature pressure means the pressure must be one atmospheric pressure. Uh, temperature is zero degrees Celsius. You know, one zero binary number. Very easy to remember. One zero. Uh, yeah, pressure is one atmospheric pressure. Temperature is zero degrees Celsius. Okay, temperature is zero degrees Celsius. Uh, then, but this uh, you must remember. You must change to SI unit. Yeah, or because this atmospheric pressure and degrees Celsius. Uh, this is not SI unit. You have to change all to SI unit. Pascal, like pressure must be in Pascal. Atmospheric pressure must change to Pascal. Uh, degree Celsius, you must change to Kelvin. Uh, you must change to Kelvin. Uh, so this is the one. Uh. Okay, uh, this is the value. Okay, uh, this one is either you can, temperature you can either use uh, 273.15 Kelvin or you can also use uh, 273 Kelvin. Uh, both accepted. Yeah. We accept both. Yeah, sometimes we accept two point. Both accepted, lah. Yeah, two point two seven three point one five. Also, we accept two seven three Kelvin only. Also accept. Yeah, the the decimal place behind not so important. Yeah, not so important. Okay. Uh, but this one is um uh you must use uh one point zero one three. Yeah, not only one point zero one. This is not so accurate. Yeah. Uh, you must refer back to your uh list of constant. Ah, atmospheric pressure must use uh, 1.013 1 yeah? Use back the, this value yeah? uh, Don't use 1.01 don't use, uh, uh, okay? Not so accurate Okay, uh, so that's it yeah? That's a standard temperature and pressure Okay, uh, so let, maybe let us write it down over here first So we have uh, pressure is uh, 1 atmospheric pressure Very easy to remember Volume, I don't know, temperature is uh, 0 degrees Celsius. Ah, okay. And then we have uh, the mass. Uh, this is the total mass of gas. Uh, the total mass of gas. Uh, mass, you must also, in, uh, you know, you must in kilogram. Uh, mass must as kilogram SI unit. Okay. Uh, okay, so kilogram already, good. SI unit. Now find the molar mass. Uh, so we want to find the molar mass. Uh, so the molar mass unit is kilogram per mole. Uh, kilogram per mole. Okay. Uh, SI unit also of nitrogen of nitrogen gas. Oh, um, uh, given already molar mass. Uh, this is the molar mass. But yeah, this is the molar mass. But this one in gram. You see that? Ah, uh, so you must change it to kilogram per mole ah you must change it to kilogram per mole okay ah you must change it to, to SI unit okay all in SI unit yeah uh, molar mass must be in kilogram per mole originally is always given <coughs> a gram per mole so you must change to SI unit kilogram per mole okay uh, if you don't change you are wrong and that means you need to divide by thousand ah uh, okay so find the volume. Finally, he asked for volume of the tank. So I think this one, this formula, just use uh, PV equal to nRT. Okay, PV equal to nRT. Uh, the formula is uh, just uh, PV equal to nRT. Uh, so do we have everything needed? Pressure, uh, what atmospheric pressure? So we must change. Excuse me. So, uh, standard temperature and pressure. So, uh, the pressure of what atmospheric pressure is actually, if you check the, uh, you know, the list of constant, 
Okay, given in the exam, list of constant value, uh, it is actually uh, what I'm expecting here is 1.013 exponent 5 Pascal. Okay, use this value. Okay, uh, so it's a 1.013 exponent 5 Pascal. And then, uh, how about the volume? Yeah, we don't know the volume. Uh, the number of moles, do we have the number of moles? We have the number of moles. Yeah, we have the molar mass and also the total mass. Uh, so, so how to find molar mass? I have to find the number of moles. Very simple. Uh, we learned about this already, isn't it? How to find the number of moles? Uh, because we know that molar mass multiply number of mole, you should get the total mass, total mass of gas. Uh, molar mass multiply number of mole. This is a molar mass is mass of one mole. Mass of one mole. So you have n moles. Uh, you multiply the number of moles, you get the total mass of gas. Okay. Uh, so we can say we can put another formula here. Uh, the total mass of gas is actually number of moles multiplied by the molar mass. Uh, okay. Uh, molar mass multiplied number of moles is mo total mass of gas. Uh, so. Total mass of gas is uh, number of mole multiplied molar mass. Okay, so we can get the number of mole here. See that? Uh, so the number of mole is actually the total mass of gas divided by the molar mass. Uh, okay, total mass of gas. But um, is the total mass uh, in kilogram already good? But molar mass is not is not kilogram yet, so we must change. Uh, the, the molar mass molar mass is uh, given in gram per mole you must change to kilogram per mole uh, this is the common mistake of students they didn't change to kilogram per mole okay uh, gram per mole so uh, change to kilogram that means divide by thousand uh, 28.01 uh, I mean exponent negative uh, 3 uh, kilogram Divide by thousand per mole. Okay, uh, this one, this part. Uh, okay, uh, when you put in the kilo, kilo there, then you put a uh, exponent negative three because a kilo is exponent three, exponent three. So uh, exponent three, then you need to put exponent negative three. Okay, so uh, then you get kilogram per mole for molar mass, and then only we uh, the mo the total mass is already kilogram SI unit. That's good. Remember, all you must, uh, all you must, as a unit, mass is kilogram, molar mass is kilogram per mole, temperature in Kelvin, pressure in Pascal, volume is meter cube. Okay, all in SI unit, all in SI unit. Okay, okay, so let's roll. Yeah, so what's a total mass? Twenty eight point five. Okay, put in twenty eight point five kilogram. That's good. SI unit. And then uh, molar mass is 28.01 exponent negative 3 uh, because I already changed to kilogram per mole. Okay, so we can get the number of mole. Yeah, dividing the total mass with molar mass. Okay, let's calculate and see. And what do we get? Let's check. Okay, I got uh, it is a. Uh, Oh wow, quite a big value, yeah. Um, quite a big value. I got one point zero one seven, one point zero one seven, uh, five, one point zero one seven five, uh, exponent, exponent three mole. Wow, that's quite a big value. Okay, that's it. So okay, I got the number of mole already. So what's next? Uh, temperature. Ah, temperature is uh, uh, R is uh, R is the uh, R R value is molar gas constant or Rybert constant. It is eight point three one. Okay, it R is eight point three one. Okay, R is eight point three one. It uh, no, eight point three one. And then what's what's the unit? Ah, huh? it's a joule per cube. Per Kelvin per mole. Oh, you see, all in SI unit, you see? 
all in SI unit. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, all in SI unit. So, and then how about the temperature? Temperature is, uh, you know, standard temperature pressure. Temperature is 0 degrees Celsius. Uh, temperature is 0 degrees Celsius. So, uh, become uh, 273.15 also can, yeah. 273, uh, 273.15 Kelvin or you just put 273 also can, yeah. 273.15 Kelvin. 0.15 Kelvin. All right. Okay. Uh, so okay. So now let's put into the this this equation and we can find the volume. Okay. I'm uh, putting all the information here. So we have uh, the atmospheric pressure uh, in Pascal. Change to Pascal. Okay. Then I have. I want to find the volume. The mole of mole is uh, uh one point zero one. 1.015 exponent 3 mole uh, R is uh, 8.31 temperature is uh, 273.15 Kelvin uh, so okay so the num oh uh, yeah I, so what's the volume so let's find the volume let's calculate Okay, so the volume I got is uh, 22.7995, which is uh, 780, yeah, uh, 80, uh, this one is in meter cube, uh, in meter cube, alright, uh, that's, that's the answer, 22.80 meter cube, uh, is it correct, yeah, it's uh, correct, yeah, it's almost the same, yeah, uh, probably a bit different because why because maybe he used the temperature just uh, you know maybe he used the temperature just 273 Kelvin uh, maybe he just used 273 Kelvin and get this an answer uh, but I used 273.15 Kelvin also accepted yeah also accepted yeah so I got this answer so that's all yeah remember all must change to SI unit yeah Pascal kilogram especially the molar mass the molar mass always given in gram, you must change to kilogram per mole. Uh, that's the most important thing. Okay, and the number of mole is take the mole, total mass of gas divided by molar mass. Uh, that's all. Okay, the standard temperature pressure is one atmospheric pressure. Pressure is one atmospheric pressure. Temperature is zero degrees Celsius. Uh, so it's one zero binary number. Okay, so and the volume you got is twenty two point eight zero meter cube. So that's all. Thank you.